Oh, what's cracking, big? Oh, if you're listening to me right now, I know my voice sounds extra sexy. I know it always sounds sexy, but we invest a lot of money into these new mics, these new arms over here. You see me moving it around. Fancy. Yeah, and you might be listening to this via podcast. This is the first one of this weekly episode, episodic column that we're putting on the podcast because we finally upgraded the audio. This is the Town Get Down weekly recap video. We got your man's Nicholas. I, you know what I realized the other day? Like, I've never introduced you two on, yeah, no. on these weekly recap it's videos. It's kind of fucked up. So why don't y'all take the mics that we paid so much goddamn money for, tell the people who you is, because they're going to forget about you anyways. Go. I'm Max the Animal, and I'm going to go by that. So you're going to have to call me that. Yeah. So it's, it's Max the Animal. It's, it's, funny you that's say, it. it's, it's funny you say that because, um, you know, he's Nick and he's 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 the headmaster. So... My name is Nick as well. You can't, hey Nick, you hey can't Nick, be stop Nick, fidgeting though. with the mic because they're going to hear your, oh, yeah. your greasy fucking Italian fingers all over yeah, the goddamn thing. Can you believe I'm Italian? Yeah, it's not a dick, <laughs> right? Just, yeah, it ain't, you know a, it ain't a brajol. Don't touch it. It's Hands just off. like something. I'm fidgeting. I just have a talk. Call me Nicky Snacks, please. I eat snacks. It's all I eat. Um, and pizza. It's a pleasure. All right. So you heard him. We got Nicky Snacks. We got Max the Animal. They Nicky don't snacks. answer unless you <clears throat> call them accordingly. Nikki Snacks is probably going to have a different name every week, I think. I don't know how Nikki Snacks is going to stick. What are you talking about? That's, that's, He's been Nikki Snacks been for a Nikki while, but, for I, but I do feel like there will be multiple nicknames. I've never come heard Nikki Snacks of, before. Really? You caught Nikki, me off guard with that. Nikki Snacks Inc. Incorporated? Never. That's his name in a few fantasy it's, leagues. It is a, my name in a few. In a few I'm Nikki in Nikki one Snacks fantasy league with you. That's it's, true. And he, he, he didn't really, he wasn't like when we were part When I was here, you were always LaGreca, so I only know you as. I am LaGreca. You could be Nick LaGreca if you want. Yeah, no, but I'm that's saying. crazy because like Big Dogs is not even incorporated. We're not even an LLC. We are just I'm just, nothing. Just I'm Big Dogs. Actually, nothing. If someone wanted to take this podcast and name like it start a fantasy football podcast and name it Big Dogs Fantasy or you know whatever BDGE, they could do it. You could steal it from right <laughs> under me, <laughs> nice. and I would probably start watching your content to be yeah. honest with you. Um, so we have Nikki Snacks Incorporated, but we don't even have Big Dogs Incorporated. We went off on a fucking ridiculous tangent for the first two and a half minutes of this video slash podcast. Very and good. that's what we're all about. We don't give you any value. We just talk shit. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoy. So You get the real us. There's no format. We're going to be all over the place. Get ready for it. We are starting to get in the grit. As you see, we have the whiteboard behind us where we're going to start writing down ideas uh, as we go through the episodes and the videos and stuff. And these are going to get... I, they'll probably continue to get worse, but we're, we're, we're hoping they get better. Anyways, let's talk about our goddamn league. Yeah, a lot happened. Woo. Yeah, anything, lots of L's. Anything good? No, I no, I agree. Good. I no. have nothing good. Well, I mean, you know, my team looks looks pretty good right now. We put up one seventy three in a loss. However, why don't we talk about the standings right now for lost. a second? You lost. <laughs> yeah. So all three of us at the table lost, which is it's funny. For them, because this leaves Nikki Snacks, you're still in first, correct? Correct. With and the most I points. Over, you know, I overtook you in points, too. So overtook me in points. Good. Max, the animal, where are you at right now? You're two or three? I'm in two, but I'm I'm behind in points by right. about 80. 80. So we have Joe, who watches you poop. What's his name in the league? I'm retired dot, 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 JK. L O L. All right. From now on, if you don't have a good fucking name, you're out of the league. It's actually more uncomfortable than my name, which is awful. Yeah. So like, the fact that at least yours has a funny meaning behind it. I, I still don't know true. how to it's, say it's it. It's still hard to say though. It makes it. What is? How do you say it? Is is Orden? Is Orden? Yeah. Is Orden? Which not, is just it's uncomfortable. Not bad, but it's like you literally won't know it unless you hear you, the entire. You want to say so. I Zordon, and you can't. I, you can't say like look at me now because I'm not gonna look like what you thought I looked like. It was just that one FaceTime picture. Yeah, it was. It just reminded me of Zordon from Power Rangers. Make sure you send that to me. His last name is Isidori, so we call him Is. Not it's Nikki Snacks Is Incorporated. Ooh, that's pretty good. Is too. Yeah, so you'll see. I have the I Z. The guy from you know. Power Rangers. Yeah. So send me Just, that picture. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna overlap it in here so he knows what I'm talking about. Anyways, first, second, I was in fourth with the most points. What had happened was uh, I had Pat Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Robert Woods on by. Carryon Johnson got hurt, so he wasn't in my lineup. I'm already down four of my guys. I'm like, you know what? This is going to be tough, but I'm playing Jason, who's in ninth place. What is he? One, he was one and nine prior to this week? He was Trap two game. And nine. Oh, I'm sorry, one and nine. Yeah, he was right. one and nine. We, we knew it going in. Like yeah, I talked about it on the podcast last we week. I was like, it. I'm not confident about this game at all because I had all those guys out. I'm like, you know what? Travis Kelsey's out. Uh, I can throw O.J. Howard in there. Then mid midway through the week, we hear O.J. Howard is fucking put on the IR. It's more like O.J. fucking coward. This is 
absurd at this point, right? I'm down five of my, my best players. But you're still playing Jason. I'm still playing Jason. I'm projected to win. I'm like, you know what? I have someone to fill in for Patrick Mahomes. I have my choice of Jameis Winston and Lamar Jackson. Like, it, that's fine. I have Jameis Winston. Who is he? Quarterback four or five on the week. Still feeling okay. Then David Johnson does his best David Johnson impression well, and puts year, up yeah. like six points. I had to put Marquez Valdez-Scantling in my fucking flex. What is – what is – Shouldn't okay. have done that. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna put the matchup <laughs> on the screen. I shouldn't have done. It. I had nothing else to do. And the fucking Jaguars defense gets me a zero. So between the Jaguars defense, oh, Marquez, yeah, we can talk about that. Valdez Scantling, they they get me. I think point nine. So I'm I'm. You know what? It was it was a tough Sunday. We're going into Monday night, and I'm like, I could still pull this That's off. The best part. I could still pull this off because we have Demarius Fraud Thomas and Marcus Mariota. They need to combine for what was it, thirty five or thirty four or something? something? Yeah. 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 Roughly. I'm up like 34. This is a half PPR. It's not full PPR. Uh, this is four point passing touchdown. So it's not like he has a huge advantage on me to get these points. And I'm feeling good, right? Because I didn't think it was going to be a high scoring game. Both defenses are pretty good. Um, Demarius Thomas is fucking horrible. Mar uh, Marcus Mariota, for the most part, has put up more than like 14 fantasy points like twice this year, maybe, right? <laughs> maybe. And maybe. I, I think Jason's actually even checked out too because. He he sat. He left Dak on the Dak bench for Mariota, and then after he won, said, "Oh, I won." Yeah. Joe moved Mike Evans midway through last year to Jason for next year's second round pick. Jason thought he was going to take the chip. Little did he know. Little did he know. Shane had more grit than anticipated. Shane took on the title. Jason is second round pickless right now. So Joe is not only keeping. Garops in the 16th, but he's got the second round pick of Jason. Jason's a man down, hand down. Do you think you could still compete? Hell yeah. Oh. I got this shit. Man's confident. Nobody sucks in this league. Except for me. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, and he, he, so I don't think he knew what was going you on. You know what? Normally that would make me mad, but I know that he actually had no idea what the he fuck did. was going I had on. No idea. And I was with him on Sunday too, and he was he didn't give a fuck. And uh and, and he's a broken man right now. Right. So <laughs> So Mariota comes out like this game starts off and I'm like, I'm nervous because, you know, like anytime you go into a game, like even Demarius Thomas ha doesn't catch a ball for fucking seven quarters. And I'm like, this will be the game that Demarius Thomas just starts balling the fuck out. Game starts. And I'm like, OK, let's do this. Mariota throws a fucking 70 yard touchdown pass where Jonu Smith <laughs> Jonu runs Smith. <laughs> un un touched like he has fucking HIV AIDS running through the middle of the field. No one wants to get near this man 70 yard touchdown boom i'm like okay demarius thomas catches a touchdown first drive deshaun watch it those two fucking touchdown demarius thomas catches both of them when you have a guy named deandre fucking hopkins on the team Can't needless to say touchdown needless to say these two combine for 40 fucking points and i lose to the guy in ninth fucking place i'm still sitting with the second most points in the league however i'm in fifth place out of the playoff picture because eric you know what fuck eric eric's i, I want his firstborn son I want it. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. It's He's coming soon. I'm taking it. <laughs> this is bullshit. I'm fucking single recording a fantasy football podcast in my friend's basement who lives in his parents' my basement. parents' basement, please. And I'm getting fucking beaten by a guy who has a wife, a kid, uh, a kid on the way, owns his own fucking house. With a cat. But Probably only sets his lineup on Tuesday. This is <laughs> fucking... 1,584 points Eric has. I have 1,850. <laughs> I literally have like 300 more points than he does. He's going to... He's going to... He has one game ahead of me now. There's two games left, so I need to win out, but I'm playing Joe, the third place team, whose team has been fucking rolling. He just put up a 200 spot against Iz, and uh, I need to win out. I need Eric to lose one of these next two games. He plays, who does he play in week 10? Week 10 passed a while ago. Yes, yeah, um, this is week 13. He plays George, which is a huge game. This is huge, yeah. This I, week, if I he wins George, this week, you're done. George gets girly. Correct. Yeah. Because, you have to root I'm for saying, George, that sucks. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Who, does, who does Eric play next week, though? Shane. Oh my God. Shane's like Shane's team is worthless. Shane's, Shane's team actually bad. doesn't have that many less points than Eric's team. That's the sick part about it. Yes. So uh, that's where we stand right now. I'm in fifth place. My team is so it looks so good on paper. Like if you're looking at my team, I don't know if there are maybe your two teams. But your are, team wasn't like that at the beginning of the year. It's gotten better. Yeah. 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 So. It, it, yeah. It's definitely gotten better. I'm saying like right now, but I've been in the hunt pretty much. But the you whole shouldn't time. have lost this week. I mean. <sighs> so that's where our league stands right now. I play Joe. I need to beat Joe. George plays Eric. Eric's in fourth place. George beats Eric, and I beat Joe. I'm going to overlap him and for points. Points yeah. only. Points only. 
and that's fine. That we'll puts be at, you in, yeah. That puts me in, right? And then depending on what happens, that means George will be tied with me. So basically, I'm going to need to win in the last week because one, either George, win, George, George, George plays win. Jason last week. Yeah, so you, you, one of those two, both of those two play shitty opponents. And and one of those Don, two will win, and I'm going to need to win. win so it's going to be a tight fucking race down to the end, and and that's you know that's where You're most have to of win our, out. That's it. You have to win out. Yeah, that's where most of most fantasy leagues are at at this point you know you're uh you're, you're kind of getting the playoff picture in your head and that's where we're at so i'm fucking pissed off right now i don't feel good about life i don't feel good about fantasy football i don't feel good about much right now can you guys take the fucking mic away from me and talk about something yeah, where these people please. might I mean, feel I just, good i want to talk about your debacle I, I do but i just want to mention something because i'm a piece of shit like that so you posted something about defenses and i posted on i commented that the buffalo bills were a good streaming option and he posted that he thought the Jaguars at Buffalo was the better option. Which, theoretically, is not a wrong assessment. No, but, I mean, I thought that the Jaguars' offense was just completely inept. How many, how many the points Bills did the Bills got seven have? points. Seven. And the Jaguars got zero. That would have won me my game. <laughs> not that I was Is that play. what you were going to try and finish? I just wanted to put that on the table. You know, this is the it. problem. Why don't you kick him more while he's down? Well, I, I'm hoping he just goes lower and lower every week. This I is like the problem him. with having Not in fantasy. like a semi big audience because anything you say, I'll say 500 <laughs> state 500,000 statements throughout the summer. One guy will email me and be like, "Do you remember when I told you not to pick this guy?" And I'm yeah. like, "You're a fucking loser, and bro." You, and you just fueled them to do it more. Oh yeah, please, so. please talk, shove it in his face. Talk shit all day. Fantasy experts need to be. I would never call told. myself an expert. Yeah, well, I would call myself a fucking god. <laughs> yeah, okay. So no. fancy gods need to be put in their place sometimes. This is, this is not how you do it. Not in a public forum. You take me aside. You sweet talk me. Whisper sweet nothings into my ear. Tell me it's going to get better. Tell me I'm going to beat Joe. Tell me George is going to beat Eric. Can't it's not going to happen. I, I, will, I will say I, I will look at this matchup now. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Let's, let's take an actual look that is, at the that matchups. is, I mean, Eric and... But for our sake right now, this is the biggest matchup of the week. I, I don't want to put the kibosh on you. But I'll I, say it. I, I don't, don't see a path where you lose I, to Joe this week. I, either. I don't see a path where it's not a very close game. I, I don't either. I think it'll be close. I think our players are very close in terms of like talent and skill. But looking at his – Matchup-wise. Like, the fact that he has like Gus Edwards like – he has a lot of players in yeah. his lineup that have much lower floors than guys in my Correct. lineup. We probably have a round. He probably might have a slight edge on the ceiling, but his, but his matchups are not good. And all his games are at one o'clock. He's wow fucked. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even realize <laughs> that. Fucked. I fucking love most of my games are at one o'clock too, except for Mahomes and Diggs and Kelsey too. Actually, you if you the heart of if your you lineup. Lo- if he loses this, let's make a bet. I love this. Let's make a bet. One o'clock games. If if you have all your players. We are. This is like the anti Thursday night crew. The oh, anti one o'clock. I try and sit guys that play on Thursday. I, I legitimately try and sit. Yeah, guys. I it agree. Fucks my whole week up. I try and get everybody in um, Sunday from four o'clock on. That's what I try to do. Never works out. Anyway, <laughs> let's make a bet. Okay. Got it. It's got to be good. Pertaining to what? He he needs to beat Joe. If he doesn't, I see. The thing is, I think Joe's gonna win. <laughs> really, Joe's I think team you're an is idiot then. Joe's team has been really hot. Barkley, as much as I don't okay, want to say it. It has to be. But look at, yeah, Matt Ryan and Julio, that stack against Baltimore, Baltimore. is not easy. Dude, it's the NFL, man. Okay, fair, but we're looking at it See, on the Matt Ryan's going to throw three touchdowns to, against to, Baltimore and shock everybody. T.Y. Hilton. He also might throw two picks, though. Could. T.Y. Hilton at Jacksonville. Now, I do have Andrew Luck, which kind of that makes that a little shitty for me. And I'm mm-hmm. actually, dude, I'm actually debating starting James Winston over Luck. I would not do that. He's on the road. Bad weather. Carolina. At Jacksonville. Carolina is Fucking horrible on the road as a pass defense. Yeah, but Jacksonville horrible. is like kind of in shambles right now. They're changing their quarterback. They're I know, but firing like, coaches. But like fucking Ari Gold said, man, once a star, <laughs> always Ari a Gold. threat. That Jacksonville defense is always in my mind, man. Yeah. You never know yeah. when they're just going to turn I've it up. I've seen them on the waiver wire in a few leagues. I'm like, how am I not going to? And Cody Kessler starting. I think that might give Spark. a little fucking emotional boost. Yeah. You know, teams are like, fuck. I mean, that Maybe. defense is probably like, fuck Blake. Let's actually start playing now. Yeah, I love Blake, by the way. Like, not as a quarterback, but as a person. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's pretty funny. funny. He says the fucking funny as shit he's a good dude so i i I think you know what that's not that's not a bad play i mean it's hard to sit luck but like winston i think winston has just like uh, their their numbers are probably going to be similar i just think luck has probably a worse matchup and uh and he has hilton so if if luck does have a bad game and i sit luck 
Hilton no, will probably have a bad game. That's a two for him. You know, Jameis is definitely good for at least one turnover. At least a fumble. Okay, that's fine, but he's also definitely He's good for like 300 yards, two touchdowns. Minimum two touchdowns, 300. Yeah, exactly. All they do is throw the fucking ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or he gets pulled halfway through the game and Fitzpatrick comes that's, in. They're done with that. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll see. It's got to be catastrophic, and Carolina does not look good. So Yeah, Carolina looks miserable. So, yeah, that that's that's kind of like a big sit-star question for me. But he has guys like... Njoku, Gus Edwards, DJ Moore. When in those miss. spots, I have Travis Kelsey, Philip Lindsay, Robert Woods. It's mm-hmm. like they that's where so I see good. the game. I think changing. Gus Edwards, Gus Edwards is a great play. I do too. Oh, Except guy had like ninety yards last week. He, he just didn't score. He had one hundred and eighteen rushing yards. That was not a zero fucking not a not a didn't catch, not a target? touchdown. Yeah, no, he's zero a, receptions. A touchdown away, and that's a great game. That's not good for you. It's a, it's a solid game. I yeah. I mean, I get it, but like, I don't know. Like, I think Philip Lindsay is probably going to go points. top five numbers this week. Yeah, no yeah, touchdown. True. Throw a touchdown on Barkley's there. playing Chicago. That ain't like no, that, that's, that ain't no easy task. That's really where my hope kind of lies. Yeah, because if Barkley if Barkley literally sticks to his projection of like nineteen points, it's because that's how Joe's been riding. Yeah, McCaffrey is playing Tampa Bay, who yeah. might go for forty again. Yes, <laughs> I mean let's, let's be honest there. Um, yeah, that's I mean that that's the thing. It's like Julio, C Mac, and Barkley over the last three four weeks have been fucking incredible. Yeah, and he's that's it's he's been and able then the, to the Rams them. defense is kind of a toss up. They're either going to get like seventeen or fucking two. I think they'll probably be good because they're getting to leave probably back that and uh, and, and Detroit's not Detroit that great. No weapons and yeah. Jones is out. Oh my god, that's right. Their whole six. starting yeah, I'm nervous. Receiving about core that. is dead. Mm-hmm. Not all. Well, Kenny Galladay, but. That's it. Good. Who, Double, who would you guys start at? Who would you guys start defense? Because I have Green Bay at home against Arizona, but then I have Denver against at Cincinnati. But I Cincinnati doesn't have Dalton. Really, Denver's those defense. Those Me too. I, I feel like they're I go, low key. I got Denver. I think Denver's starting to really pick shit I up. I think Jeff Driscoll is going to be like a sneaky good start. You think so? I was yeah. worried about that. Dude, he's he had two good. rushing touchdowns back to back. I mean, the guy just he knows how to play football. It's just mm-hmm. a matter of whether or not he can execute it. Those I, random quarterback plays that just yeah, happen dude. in the middle of the week, though, always end up being like really yeah. turnover prone. That Green Bay team is very close to. Yeah, I think Cincinnati's completely. kind of yeah, just. That's uh, what scares me. But I they're would, but they're like fourteen point favorites against a shitty Arizona I know, I know. team. And I'm the, like the theory that you have that you said a few weeks ago. It works so well for me. It works. Yeah. I like Green Bay and Arizona because I feel like the defense is probably gonna. You'd think own, they feast. Own that whole game and. Well, that's but my then, decision. I, they're but, both really good plays. But then yeah. again, Denver should feast on. They should, and then you got to go. I mean, home versus away. I don't know. That's the thing. I I, I take home into into account. Green Bay plays all their fan. Look, I mean, look at their fantasy matchups. When they're playing at home, they dominate. Yeah. You know, they're really good, especially against sh- shitty defenses like Arizona. Yeah. So that's they play way better at Lambeau. I would never even consider them on the road. So that's that's kind yeah, of if, big, it, if, I guess. if Denver was at home, I'd say go with Denver, but they're they're away. Oh, it so. wouldn't be a question. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I, I like Green Bay. They have like teams have multiple personalities when they're on the road and when they're, mm-hmm. when they're at home, well, it man. depends on how far they're traveling. There's so much that goes into it that we don't even think about all the time. Yeah, exactly. So that's the matchup with us. We got a good one on our hands, of course. So pray for me, please. Say a prayer in your sleep tonight and for the next forty. Do we have any? Is there a thir- what's the Thursday night game this week? There are there any left? Dallas, New Orleans. Yes. Dallas, New Orleans. Okay. Yeah, I've mm, that's kind Kamara of a, that's a, that's a and Ingram, both gone. I have nobody. I, I've I've had a Thursday. You're gonna play Ingram. Hey, so. who's it? Eric and George. Uh, Eric and Eric George. George is. All right, let's dissect that for moment. you. That's everything. Yeah. Yeah, because I need fucking George to win. I don't think George's gonna win. You, you, if everybody who listens to this is you guys how's know, um we, we we don't root for George. <laughs> How's Gurley? Uh, I know they, they said he was okay, but they going to... Oh, I like these projections. I didn't see George's team was projected for 150 this week. Mm-hmm. Woo! Over 132 on Eric. Look at Eric. Wait, where are his running backs? Ty Montgomery. <laughs> Ty Montgomery. Like, how is this team fucking <laughs> ahead of me? Like, yeah. you guys were all just looking at the That's... screen and looking at my team. And then look at the team on the right side. That's the team that's ahead of me at eight and four. Well, he's been starting Mike Davis. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any. I'm so no. fucking up. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh. this is this makes me feel a lot better because when I looked at the matchup yesterday, when George I guess hadn't put his bye week players back in. George, yeah, I, I tell you what, George gonna blow him out of the water. I tell you what, oh George's quarterback situation is fucked. Except yeah, Rivers is not bad, but on the road at Pittsburgh is not an easy matchup. So he had Dalton. Okay, so let's he's, break it down. So roll. quarterback one, 
Eric definitely wins. Deshaun Watson over Keenum easily. Um, mm-hmm. Mike Thomas over Juju, of course, Most likely. wins that. OBJ probably takes it over Cooks, but it wouldn't surprise me. I don't know about in Chicago. Chicago's tough, but Cooks Khalil, will probably get that Darius Slay. Khalil Mack show. might uh, just bury Eli. That is true. Mm, that's we, not a good We're not matchup talking about that matchup. So you have to talk about it eventually. Well, I'm not going to do it today. <laughs> Uh, obviously Zeke wow okay so Eric might be starting off hot here on the right but this is where it dips down so Zeke takes Josh Adams Josh Adams admittedly looked very good last yes. year he got dude. that big touchdown oh, yeah what do you have 22 carries or something too yeah, yeah he had like a 57 yard touchdown correct call was holding but just saying <laughs> so yeah so he's rolling 22 carries he's gonna get a big workload against the Washington D that's just fucking evaporating into nothing at this point okay so we have time Montgomery this is where it is like if Todd Gurley can do his normal thing and just go for 30 points eight points last week time out against Atlanta, okay. See, this is where it starts to separate itself. Kittle over Rudolph. Big lead. Cooper against Boyd, and Boyd is without Dalton. Uh, that's beautiful because Denver is Chris Harris. Oh, yep. I love that matchup. He may get uh, Kiki QT is day-to-day with the hamstring. He left this game early on Monday night, so QT is questionable at best for this one. If he doesn't go with QT, let's see. You think yep. AJ Green's going to play? What's his last update? I think he, last time I saw he was limited. He's, limited. He's been limited. He was talking about playing, but I don't know if they're going to push him right now. I don't think so. There's no, no they just to. lost. There is zero reason to play AJ Green. Okay, so all right, so it should be a tight game. And Eric, ben, he doesn't start Trey ben, Burton. Ben over Rivers in that match. Dude, Trey Burton's been fucking miserable. He yeah. hasn't put up fifty receiving yards in five weeks. I know. Over yeah, but he started off pretty hot. Giants let tight end score. You know what, Nick? I, I will say, Nick, the, the one matchup where he has a clear advantage. That Chicago defense might score 30 points against the Giants. I know. he did. That's what, When I played Eric, the uh, fucking Chicago defense had, like, multiple. That was like against Buffalo when they had, like, multiple touchdowns. I was like, Jesus. Eli Christ. hasn't thrown a pick six in weeks. I'm He's actually going to fucking text George and tell him not. Buffalo at Miami is not a good idea for him. I don't like that at all. Division game. I'm going to draw. I'm gonna let him pick up fucking. He, I'm, th- th- like, Kansas City against Oakland is on the wire, as is There's Seattle at home against I, San Francisco well, on yeah, the wire. Oh, yeah, we have to see what happens I tomorrow have, morning. What is I have, George doing? I have four waiver defense so oh, I think me I too. Do too, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking take and, from- any of them I'm gonna be happy with yeah yes I was putting out I, I was putting out the uh my top like streamers of the week early this week and I'm, there was like seven yeah, streamers that are unowned in like 50% of leagues that are viable options this week there are a lot of, of good teams playing bad teams um so it should be an interesting week so that's another good matchup we have there George versus Eric so people I need to beat Joe we need R.I.P. Salami Sam to lay the fucking cold cut smack down on Eric. Guy's got a wife and a kid. Eric has the God Squad, guys. That, yeah, he's got that team that's just going to – it's going to back in and then it's going to get raped in the first round. 100%. His Puts first, up 115, no his, problem. His yeah. first round Still playoff. Going. Oh, my God. His first round playoffs is going to be – 92 really points. Yeah. Oh. Easily. And you know whoever's like – who if – Whoever doesn't me. make it, me or George will put up like a one eighty seven oh, spot that's that how week. It always works. Yeah, well, speaking of fucking one one ninety, I got shit on. Yeah, yeah, we could talk about you getting. But getting plugged. mine wasn't a bad loss. No, I mean it was bad here, because here's, here's it helped pro, Joe. Here's the pros and cons. Fine, I overtook Nick points. Mm-hmm. Pretty, I mean, I, I don't want to say comfortably, but that that was a good chunk. Yeah. What are you up? That's now? a good fifty or something. Yeah, something like that. That's a that's a positive. Yeah. A negative. I lost Melvin Gordon. But yeah, a positive, but, I have Eckler mm-hmm. right behind him, and I've kept him the whole way. And then a few more positives, you lost, so I stayed in first. Mm-hmm. It was really no harm, no foul. Let's talk about uh, that for a second, Melvin Gordon, Eckler situation, because right. you're someone who had Gordon. Right. You handcuffed Eckler. Got him. Fortunately, I, the only league I had Gordon in, I'm, I'm out of playoff contention, so I don't really this give a shit. This is my only Gordon. We were talking about this, and if I if I handcuffed Melvin Gordon, I think people are going like crazy about that one game that Eckler had without Gordon, and they're like, oh, Eckler's not really yeah, a bad it's game. Like, yeah. no. It's like, dude, he'll be fine. He like, will he, be fine. He's going to have dude, 18 he had, touches. Look what he did just last week's game. I he know. had more points than The big Gordon. thing, too, is without Gordon, like Eckler's going to have so much receiving workload. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yep. Now he doesn't have to split that. And this guy, Justin Jackson or whatever, is – they were also playing. They were they, that game where he wasn't good with Eckler, and they were playing in London, shitty field. Yeah, just, yeah too many off. variables. Eckler's a good ball player, so I'm not Eckler. I think I have him ranked as like a my RB ten this week overall. Yeah, or dude, I, like, that. like that really is. I would take it him right sucks now because yeah. Gordon's been so good and one of the best fantasy players. In the he's just this year. he's a touchdown. You know he's, he's, he's going to get a touchdown yeah. for you. Eckler. I wonder what his price is on DraftKings. Let me check that out right now. Eckler actually. to me is, I am just thrilled. Probably that not I have as good him. as you think. Like it probably can, dude. There's, they, there's no price that would get Eckler not at a value right now. I can't, I can't imagine. Well, yeah, 
but because I mean, they price it early in the week and they you can't they don't adjust anything. Mm-hmm. You know, I am a little nervous about Patrick Mahomes this week. To be honest with you, what with do you the, think he scores? Like I, th- I think they get up by like thirty, 30 points, points by halftime. Yeah. Well, I'm worried about that like the rest of the way now with like the Chiefs and the Rams. I'm a little yeah. Like, I'm not nervous about the Rams. I'm nervous about the Chiefs because they they're like two games ahead now, right? And they're gonna lock that shit up soon. Yeah, but the Rams are. I mean, they have the Saints. They're they're gonna be fighting for first place. No, but this, the, this, the Rams are playing. Yeah, what are you they're, worried about? They're, they're locked in with the, They got the same fucking record. And they lost to the Saints. The last, yeah. Unless they lose like some stupid game and the Saints win and then it's two games, then I, they're going to keep playing. Well, good. I like that. What about. When do um, the Chargers play? Pittsburgh. That's no, another. That's the when, key though, game. When, though? Must they not be on the. Oh, they're not Sunday on the fucking night. main slate. Also, another positive about my team Eric Ebron is back. Dude, that's, yeah, that's huge. huge for back. You. Huge. That's unbelievable. Top three. I can't. Okay, so rest of season. Rest of season, if you had to pick tight ends, it would be Kelsey, Kelsey. Ertz. Kelsey, Ertz, Ebron. Ebron. Yeah. I would take him over. I would take him over Kill in a second yeah. because of the And I was actually offense. gonna I was actually gonna bring oh. that up. I legit might start two tight ends in another league because I, I do have that both last of those week. guys. I have Kittle and Ebron. Yeah. However, I have other really good options. Yeah, I mean Ebron's a must fucking. He's monster. Run. You have to start Ebron. If you have Ebron, oh, I'm sorry, he's going to get three starting, touchdowns 100%. every week. He's get, he's probably going to average a touchdown a game over the next. He has a, I think he has games. eleven touchdowns this from season. From like a draft bust, you go well, to Andrew Luck, and it's like that's just that just shows you though four hundred dollars how teams wow, can geez. mismanage players so badly. Yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, why is it uh, that guy was drafted in the first round? Everyone thought he was going to be such a talent, and then he goes to Detroit and does shit. He's terrible. I want and now he's got eleven touchdowns. We're going to take a break before we do so. I'd like to thank the sponsors for today's videos. FantasyJocks.com. They are. We need to get some Fantasy Jocks equipment up. You can get the, some thumbs up too. Yeah, 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 guys. If you're Come enjoying on. the, uh, if you're enjoying the video, the podcast, uh, we would love if you just scroll down, and hit that button that looks like this. Also equivalent to what I basically sat on this weekend after playing Jason. Hit that oh, thumbs up shit. button. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you're thinking so far. What we can improve on. I know there's probably not much because we're fucking. I feel like it's a good app so far. I feel like we're murdering this yeah. right now. So far, yeah. so good. This one's flowing nice. I'm feeling pretty good. We just need good. to... Uh... Any engagement helps, guys. So let us know what you yeah, what you like feedback. down below. It's great. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we got to cut the audio for a second, and we'll be back shortly. Welcome, bike. Welcome, bike. Welcome, bike. We still love you. Hope you all still love us. We're going to start to try to organize the show a little bit, and we got a couple new segments coming at you. Um, if you've been following me, you've probably heard the term big facts only. That'll be one of the segments. It's similar to my Wild Stat Wednesday that I was putting out on Instagram throughout the summer where I take some of the uh, the craziest stats that I've seen, fantasy football or NFL related, as of recently, and I'll probably do it from the previous week. Uh, that's what I'll do going forward. And uh, I just spew those stats out to y'all. Those will be the big facts of the week. We're also going to get into some LOTCs, a.k.a. locks of the centuries. Gambling's legal. Well, what is gambling legal yet, really? It's in New Jersey. Yeah, we're, we New are Jersey. in New Jersey, so we are not everywhere, though. We yeah. are legal. Not everywhere. Not Rhode, everywhere. I think Rhode Island just passed a bill. Are there more states where marijuana is legal or gambling? Marijuana. Uh, love that. Definitely. Not. I love where America is. Is that a big fact only? Do you know that? Or are you That's just a big fact are you just are you just saying that? Well, first of all, it's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. First of all, so much conviction. If you think in that it, thought. it is a fact. Love that. Big fact only. Love that. Book okay. it. And that is my LLTC. Maybe, so that. maybe he'll do big facts only and you can do big thoughts only. How about that? <laughs> what do you, what do you think? <laughs> Love that. You know what's going to be amazing? When this blows up, right? And we have a shitload of viewers. And when we start saying random shit like that, like lock of the century, like master lock, sponsor us. Like yeah. when we start oh. doing random shit like that, we're going to get sponsorships. From everywhere and Century Twenty One. Let's make love that. Are we? I don't even know actually what, what you mean by so that. So clothing store. It's like Marshalls. Yeah, I think you're thinking of the uh, real estate one. Yeah, uh, Century yeah. Max yeah. or something. Uh, or there might be two Century Twenty Ones. Well, Century Twenty One is like a Marshalls type of store. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good store. I like Century. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. You buy everything for like four. Actually, it looks really good at okay. first. You wear those stores. Those stores are starting to die. If we can give them some. Love that. They can sponsor us. Yes. Totally underpriced ads right now. Like, you yeah. are yeah. fucking killing the market here. Basically free. We need to make a decision now, though. We either accept every sponsorship that comes our way or none of them. Every single one of them. We can I will, super exclusive. Yeah. I will paint this fucking wall and any logo any company wants. This is fucking bullshit. I'm getting outruled. This is not how I run my fucking <laughs> business. Well, you brought us in, so this is... And did he, he said we do things on a vote, right? I believe so. Yeah. Uh, let me... Show me the... Let's vote on that. Show me the... Let's vote on it. <laughs> oh, all right. There we go. Two to one. 
Look at that. All right. Uh, well, my audience also counts as votes, so I need I need y'all to have my back. Every time you hit a thumbs up, that means you voted my way. <laughs> <laughs> Love y'all. Right. Well, all right. Yeah, all right, let's get into the big facts. I have a few for you, and, and normally I just tweet these fucking things out. So if you follow me on Twitter, which you should be, Nick underscore BDGE. The first one was about the Bills' defense, um, and they've been very good this year against the pass. They are currently allowing the fewest fantasy points per game to opposing quarterbacks in the entire NFL. If your quarterback Damn. is playing against the Bills, it could be for a number of reasons. They do have a good pass defense. Uh, it also could be because they play the Bills and most teams just start to go run heavy because they don't need to score a ton of points. Regardless, it's not a good matchup for your defense. Going back to week four, since week four, the Bills have played in seven games. Tom Brady is the only quarterback in those seven games to throw for more than 177 yards against the Bills defense. That is big fact. Number one, Bills Mafia, big dogs, got a lot of fucking love for y'all. All right? Hold down the goddamn fort. Who did they play this weekend? Mm, uh, did, they play did they play last week or this did weekend? They, did they play Jack. last weekend? They played Jack, Jacksonville. Jack. Okay, yeah, okay. I didn't know if the stat was prior to that game, but I was like, no way. Blake well, that stat has now made me change my LOTC. Love that. Okay, so my second. I went on a, a, a See, tangent today about Julio Jones. And uh, this is not so much a, a, a big fact. It's more just – actually, I guess these are fact. So I, I, uh, I made a list only. of players that have more red zone catches than Julio Jones in t- 2018. <laughs> this is a list, and this is not all of them, but these are, on that list. these are some really good players. <laughs> Jaron Brown, Zach Line. Who? I don't even know. There's a, if he's you a, look at my a, picture, know, there's a, a fucking a, question mark yeah. next to it. He's a fullback. <laughs> Zach Line. These are guys who have more red zone catches than Julio fucking Jones. And Julio Jaren Jones Brown. is 6'3". Yeah, 6'3", okay. built with muscle, can probably jump. Should be a red zone goal line kind of target. Out of control. Yeah. Zach Line, Ryan Grant, Eric Swoop, Marshawn fucking Swoop. Lynch. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch has more red zone receptions than Julio Jones. Jordan Thomas, Adam Humphreys. Oh, the hump god. The god. The, <laughs> the god. <laughs> Philip Dorsett, John Ross, Kendrick Bourne, fucking Javorius Suck Allen, Ben Watson, Cole Beasley, Josh Reynolds, Nick Vanette, Taewon Taylor. All more red zone catches than Julio Jones. Julio Jones right now has six straight games of 100 plus receiving yards. Good six receiver. straight. He has never had more than three straight games in his career. He did it three separate times on 2015. Really? Three 100 yard receiving games, broke the streak. Three, three again, broke it. Three again. Three separate times, 2015. He's done that five times total. He's on a six game 100 yard receiving streak, hopefully, for my E Town Get Down chances. That shit ends. Stat. Dylan had like eight games in a row. Like, yards. Anyway, um. <laughs> so those are my big facts for the week. I'm probably going to hit you with, with more of them as we go forward, but it's time for the locks of the centuries. This is where you make your money. This is where you pay your fucking mortgage. This is what we call the mortgage paying parlays, the MPPs, baby, the MPPs. <laughs> Nikki fucking snacks. I have to write that. Hit them with. Your first lock of the century. Your first lock of the century for week 13. This is probably the easiest money you're ever going to win. Um, please screenshot that. Quote me on that. I have never felt more confident about a pick in my life. Wait, real quick, real quick. Um, if you take Nick's pick and you screenshot it and you lose, he will refund you that money. <laughs> you know what? This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. There's no way I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I was going to say $10 or less, but there's no way. I, he's pre- I hope there's a lot of people that do it. Yeah, there's no way. I was very close to, to thinking about it, but but no. no. Even though it is, it's free, I'm about to give out free money, and that is the atrocious looking, over the last three weeks, Carolina Panthers giving three and a half away against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, there's the hook in there, so you know that. They're trying to fuck with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Carolina playing atrocious, right? The only player that's really playing is Christian McCaffrey. Mm-hmm. Correct. Hmm. This is the week the Bucks stop him. This they is, stop this him. Is in not, his this is not. This is not the week the, week. the Bucks. Hit. I have a personal vendetta. <laughs> I have a personal vendetta against the Buccaneers. I hate them. Why is that? Because P. 
Pierre Paul is like has like eleven sacks, and the Giants traded him for Dick. He has eleven sacks this year. He's crushing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> Carolina needs a win desperately. I know they have. In the sack. worst way. If they lose, that they're gonna start losing out on that playoff spot when we thought weeks ago it was a lock. They finally turn it around. They beat the ever living fucking cunts out of their <laughs> division rival. They win by four or more. Take it to the bank. Put all your money on it. I guarantee this pick. L O T C lock of the. Century. I try to tell them that they need to take the money out of their savings account if they can, if they have loved ones around them, their mother, who is elderly and mm-hmm. probably needs the money. I tell you what, tell her it's an investment. Take her money. Take her, her life savings. And just remember, it's not gambling if you know you're going to win. It's yeah. true. That is true. That's facts. You're Literally, betting against That's a big a, fact. That is a big fact. It's the biggest fucking fact I've actually heard yeah. all day. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, you know for what? sure. Let's hear. A, let's hear a big thought. A big thought only from Max. <laughs> Max, we got a lot. L O T C. Lotus. So obviously, I'm a biased Broncos fan, but yeah, um, tell. <clears throat> listen, I was rooting for us. I don't want to say rooting for us to lose, but Pussy. I don't. I don't want Vance Joseph to be our coach next year. But I'm gonna go with the Broncos minus four and a half against the Bengals because, well, the Bengals suck. And if I look at my that, phone, the, that, I like that line a lot for the Broncos. Dude, I looked at my phone, and I have my notes from Week Twelve, and the first thing it says is, "Bengals suck." <laughs> That's it. That's the analysis you're getting. That here. was that was Week Twelve notes. Bengals suck. So I don't think Jeff Driscoll is going to be able to beat the Broncos. How long has Jeff Driscoll been in the league? Anyone know? Can we get some back stats on him? I don't know who that guy is. I that guy. He, I thought he was dead. <laughs> you know any players with your big thoughts? He was only he was, he was mummified. They, out. they brought him back. Uh, we need to have we need to start setting up a cemetery or a graveyard behind us for all the people in Nick because <laughs> thought they were dead. Jeff Driscoll, six four two thirty, dead four, uh, <laughs> dead <laughs> twenty five years old, Louisiana Tech, eighty ninth percentile spark score. What a what a guy. He's only twenty five. 25.6, actually, according to player you know, profiler. I'm going to really study this game because the Giants are going to be looking for a quarterback next year. Maybe he maybe he shows me something. Best Jeff comparable Driscoll? player is Jake Locker. So you're feeling good about Denver. I like that pick. I do like yeah. that pick a lot. Um, I think. We, 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 the, the, by the way, the, you know, we're saying this now. These, these lines are probably going to move. So get them in right away. Yeah. Please get them in literally right away. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Things happen. Lines change. You know, they change Tuesday at the right end of the now. week. It's Tuesday night. And we're all looking at the same website. And we're pulling the lines directly from them. So don't fucking come to us with your bullshit on Saturday saying, hey, the Denver fucking Broncos are minus seven and a half. You're full of shit. And I bet my mortgage on it. I don't want to hear about you not being able to pay rent this month because of fucking Max's terrible picks. I mean, if it's not, if it has nothing to do with the lines, then you can complain all you want. I don't care. But don't, don't fucking come in here with that shit. All right. We ain't about that life. We are about the Atlanta Falcons life this week. My first. L O T C. Well, if I'd say we. Here's. <laughs> Stop that. I meant me and my people that I'm speaking to right now. Yeah. Falcons at home in the dome against the Ravens. Minus one. One point favorite. 48 and a half over under. Here's what I like. I actually don't like a lot. But I, don't, I don't like any of it. I, I like the fact that this is going to be. Okay, well, we're <laughs> sorry. Let me start over because I, I was going to say this is the first time Lamar Jackson is going to be playing a non horrible defense. <coughs> yeah, right. That's why. That's why I stopped myself. Good, good but stop. We, but we are getting Deion Jones back. Get a stop. Hopefully, here. <laughs> our Shut up. our all pro linebacker, who is not only one of the best run defenders in the league, but one of the best coverage linebackers in the league. He will probably spy. be put on as a spy on Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is. Not going to beat us through the air. We'll put it that way. So if we can have someone stop him on the ground, they are not a better team than us. And I think we play better offensively when we're at home in the dome. If this was at Baltimore, I wouldn't touch this game. I'd have no confidence in Matt Ryan. But I don't hate what we're bringing to the table. And I think this will be. I think it will be a close game. But I think. Uh, but I think the Falcons pull this off. And I don't trust that Baltimore offense until I see them led by Lamar Jackson in a game in which the matchup wasn't ridiculously good. So I'm, I'm more so betting against the question mark factor of Lamar Jackson. That is my first LOTC. That's how we break down the big motherfucking facts. If I left you with any question marks, 
the too bad. I um too bad. Well, well, I, no, <laughs> listen, listen. I like both of you guys' picks. Probably Max, yours a little stronger. However, as I was looking through these lines, <laughs> disagree. However, I, I was looking through these lines yeah. and I have a terrific titty teaser. Okay. Okay. Ooh, a little titty oh, teaser. I have a titty, titty teaser. teaser. It is titty Tuesday. It is titty Tuesday, nice. so I want to give. I want to give. I want to give out a titty teaser. All right. All right. All right. I'm ready. Now we're gonna go three teams, ten points. That's the standard when you get a teaser. That's uh-huh. what you can do. Three points. It's, I think it's minus one twenty odds. Here's what you're gonna do. Looking at the lines, you have KC minus fifteen. Correct. Mm-hmm. Love that. Lower that to minus five. You have Seattle, minus nine and a half. You lower that, you plus a half. Mm-hmm. Got to win the game. I love this. Or tie. I love this. Then you got the Rams, minus ten. What do you get them at if you get ten points? A motherfucking pick em. Wow. Your titty teaser. Three team. <laughs> That's good. Ten points. KC, minus five. Seattle, plus a half. Win the fucking game. <clears throat> Rams, pick them. What does that leave you at? Just uh, minus one ten. It's minus one ten. Yeah. All right. For those of you guys who don't know what a what a teaser is like that, so a single game money line is what we've been doing, right? You pick the spread. Yep. If you want to do a parlay, you take two games, or you know, a, however many games you two want to plus. put together, but you take the normal lines that they have. So you could say the Rams minus ten and the Packers minus fourteen, and you have to hit both games. The teaser gives you these crazy odds so that it comes back as if you were only betting one game with normal lines. So you get. He said it was 10-point titty teaser, right? Yep, 10-point mm-hmm. titty teaser. So basically, you're picking three games in which you get to move the line 10, 10 points, points in the favor of whatever team you're taking. Thus, you know, it's really good, obviously, odds for that particular game, but you have to hit three or four games in order for your odds to get back to the regular betting odds. They don't call it a teaser for nothing, Yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah exactly. They, you know, you get your points, and it looks teasy as fuck. It yeah. does. A lot of times it does it fucks you, but that's however, why you play the game. However, yeah. however, you will. I repeat, you will not lose this fucking titty teaser. Yeah, there's too many dominant teams in the NFL to lose. This to is this is where you take advantage of. Well, I just like those three matchups that you picked for that. I, think I, they shit, all, I might works. like I like all those for the games with the regular. Spread. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pick actually, them for the Rams. And minus one twenty, you got to you yeah. know you lay one hundred twenty bucks to win a hundred. I'm sure most of you know, but if you don't, and the games we're picking, one game, it's minus one ten. Got to. You know, I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he uh, he involved my second lock of the century. It was it was the Chiefs minus fifteen. I just see you no. Know, I, I get I get your point. Like the in division and the Chiefs are on the road, but like the Raiders are so fucking bad. That's terrible. They there is no way that the Chiefs are going to win this game, game by like twenty five points. The only way this doesn't happen is if the Raiders have some miraculous fucking backdoor cover. Yeah. That is it. Like lock your back doors, and we're gonna win this goddamn bet. Or if Mahomes gets hurt. Well, the Raiders won. Did they win last week? They did. did no, they, they lost. They, they have lost. two wins on the season. They lost to Baltimore. Yeah. They won two weeks ago. They won two weeks, they won two weeks ago okay. against the Cardinals. Yeah, they so lost that was 34, it for them. 17 against Baltimore. They got their one win, their one game out of the way where they can feel yeah. good. Yeah. Now about they get the something. Chiefs, the now Steelers. They might be able to beat the Bengals so, at the road on the road at the Bengals in week 15. Nah, Bengals are going to be playing for Marvin uh, Marvin Lewis that game. They're going to be motivated. You think they want to keep Lewis at this yeah. point? Yeah. He's got to have something on all these players. <laughs> he has to have something on him. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. How, there are so many coaches in the league. You motherfuckers don't win any more games. I'm leaking all this shit. <laughs> this he's, got he's, he's got something. He's got something bad. I could look through the NFL teams and and just look. I just start naming coaches that need to be out. Cowboy Jason Garrett out. Ravens. Uh, I like Harbaugh, but I think maybe it's time for them to mix it up. Falcons. I like Quinn. We need to get the fuck rid of uh, ROC Sarkeesian. Broncos, as you said, uh, Vance Joy, greater sign Vance See Joseph. Vance. The Bengals, Marvin Lewis. Got to keep him. <laughs> God, keep him. Got to keep him. Rams, Beast, Lions. Uh, yeah, first, you just got him. Gonna, yeah, you're gonna. He's gonna suck. I don't like. I don't like what Patricia's really done there. But I think. I mean, they're gonna get rid of Mr. Kuda. Mr. Jim Bob. That'll that'll be the downfall of that franchise. Mr. Kuda's gone. Cardinals. Mike McCoy already got fired. He fucking. We don't want to talk about him. McCarthy's going to be out. Literally, I just go down the list well, of Cardinals uh, head coach is uh, Steve Wilkes. Steve Wilkes. Yeah. Who sucks also. Well, he's in, I don't think any first-year coaches are getting the can. So No, I mean, you can Even though if I had any say, I'd fire Pat Shermer. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pussy. Love that. I'm going to fire him, too. Um, how After the losing that game to the Eagles head coach is still there is Dirk Cutter. They're just waiting until the end Dirk of the Cutter season. That makes no sense. They need, to, yeah. they need to have their offensive coordinator. I'll tell you what. If the Panthers collapse continues, it won't this week. LLTC, they're going to win by four at least. However, Panthers don't make the playoffs. They collapse. Riverboat Ron. Ron? Ron? No. Ron gone? Gone Why? Ron? Why? They made it to one Super Bowl and played terrible. You saw that. 
You had a dusted ass Peyton Manning. That's all. That's all it First of all, they didn't play though. terrible with the with the other coaches out yeah. on the wire. Great dude, defense. Like, that's all it takes. You need to. You can build your whole career on one yep. bullshit ass fluky season. That's all it takes nowadays. When that's you have true. guys like Hugh Jackson still fucking floating around the re. Yo, shout out Baker Mayfield though. Yeah, for what he did. Big time. I love that. I'm a big Baker guy. Yeah. yeah. That's the only quarterback that I, I, looking back on it now, would rather over Barkley. Yeah, just looking at all these teams, there's so many teams that I would. Marone's gone. Actually, he probably stays. No, he's gone. I don't think Coffin's so. Gonna like can was, his like you guys ass. were just saying, one magical year, they were like 10 seconds away from the Yeah, I think a lot of the players simple. don't like Marone because he's such an intense guy. That yeah, was the problem with him originally in, NFL in Buffalo. Now. I mean, he was in Buffalo and... They he were. A, he was a good coach. They had yeah. no talent, and he like got the best out of them. Yeah, he was going like eight and eight. But they yeah. said like he was super intense in the locker room, yeah. like screaming and shit, and like they didn't like that because everyone's a soft. Yeah, that was pussy. like Coughlin too. And, you know. yeah. Jeff's coach will be gone. That's why Coughlin. Is it's probably why Coughlin and him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They you know, love each other. Work together. Yeah. So basically, ninety percent of the NFL is going to get fired in this offseason. John Gruden. Hot seat. <laughs> the best part about it is like here's what's going to happen. Like they're all going to get fired. But all the same players will still be coaching in the NFL yeah. next year. They're going to coach for another team. Flip. I know. And that's our locks of the century, I think. Did you have a, anyone have a, one that we didn't get to? Nope. No, I, I just, just my one. My my Panthers and then my my ten point titty teaser. I tell you what. I tell you what. Like that titty that titty teaser. If if the Falcons weren't the now. biggest lock of of the millennium, this might be this might be a lot of them. An LOTM fade. Wow, <laughs> Nick. Don't fucking wait. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying that you're saying what's the LOTM? House, bro. Stop. Side bet. <laughs> what are you fucking around here? I take. I take. I'll take my good mic. thing I didn't take that feeling bet last week. Around? I know. I knew it was gonna have a big game. Oh, by the way, do you want to? Can we redo the Giants over? Two oh yeah, he was. He was talking about this. Can we redo it out here? He wants to change the bet that he made live. Well, he wants to change the bet on, after it's already. Yeah, was dude, that, that was, live that's on, on the video. on Instagram? Absolutely. The Instagram live bet. No, that was that's no, in the video. This is in the video. It's in the YouTube. I'm thinking we should change it. Well, right. yeah, because Here's he why. looks why very bad for what you. The bet was. All right, so the bet was, you know, I was I was high off the Giants beating the two worst teams in football. It's probably high off something yeah. else to make <laughs> yeah. this bet. No, nah, I don't. I don't do the ganj. We only do the good drugs here at yeah. the HQ. Heroin, coke, and yeah. anyway, love that. But <laughs> I'm really. Oh, I'm, I'm my... actually me and my friends are we're into uh, smelling salts now. Yeah. Yeah. What do you I mean? Do it on Sunday. What do you mean my, smelling salt? Like um, like, like, like smell before salt. you lift, yeah. like smelling salt. Yeah. What do you mean you're into it? Well, I was trying weight. to get fired up for the Giants game, so I brought a bunch of smelling salts. Okay, I like that. I, 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 I would do that I with you. To get fired up. Let's would, do it. I would they do that with they must be really fucking good and strong if they fire you up for the fucking Giants at okay. this point. I, know. I don't need them to get fired up. He definitely up. doesn't need that. <laughs> anyway, so we bet so that I, you know, I was coming off high, and I'm thinking, here we go. We're going to run the fucking table. We're the New York Giants. We've done this before. Wasn't the case. The team's terrible. Anyway, yeah. Nick bet me over two and a half wins the rest of the year. I said, fucking lock of the century. Absolutely. I don't remember the conditions though. The conditions were if the Giants do win over two and a half games, buy you a jersey. He would buy me an Adam Thielen jersey. Yeah, jersey, not a jersey. Jersey. But sure, what if jersey. what if they don't? What was my? If they don't win, you had to tweet at Adam Thielen publicly, oh, right. and tell him that you wanted to suck his dick. That's right. Mm, yeah. So, and I, yeah, I agreed. And you know what? He agreed. You it was know what? Live on camera. Fuck it. I'm confident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, conf- I'm confident in two things. Waking up tomorrow. Well, I shouldn't. Be confident. <laughs> you shouldn't be confident. I'm not confident. That. I'm confident as fuck. Might be an RIP at the bottom of this. And my ten point titty teaser. And I'm confident the Giants win more than two and a half games this year. Not two and a half games this year. Two and a half games for the rest of the season. For the, season. Of the season. remainder of the season. Yeah, so they already have they three have games. I would have won that better. They have to win six on the year, which fucks me for the draft. But you know what? I don't care. I'm trying you to make everything possible. We need some morale. I, so. What? Listen, Boo you this man! Why, why, do you, why do you think you don't see me in my Eli Juke, jersey Juke. anymore? You see me in my Shane motherfucking Falco jersey, okay? If nobody knew who that was, do you get it? Do you get it? Did you get, did it? You get, did you get it? it? Did you get it? Oh. I'm so pissed. All right, we need to lock this shit up because this is getting out of control. The lock of the century is this podcast coming to an end right now. <laughs> that is a big lock. Before Nick fucking makes any more egregious fucking Giants bets, thank you all for joining us. If you stuck around thus far, as always. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're going to be hitting you with these videos weekly. Uh, we're going to be going into the offseason, into next summer. So y'all can stick around with us. Faux. Uh, well, Plenty of content coming in the summer and every in the offseason. Yeah, and, and production value. 
will continue to go on up. The up. I think, Every we're at, week. I think we're at peak. I think we're at peak right now. I feel we're, like if it, if, this is if, only where we have to be. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I feel like, like we're going to look at. like the stock market a little bit. Like every week, it's going to be like, oh, it's a high week for them. And then like next week, it's like, oh, yeah, shit. It's going to go fucking zoom. Fucking BDG production. Shit. Yeah, yeah, this call, thing's going to blow up. I have to call up. Domino's real quick. <laughs> you're out of control. I have an endoscopy tomorrow. I can't eat after 12 o'clock. I got to eat something. Right? So you're going to eat Domino's at 1140? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's absurd. It's right before 12 o'clock. Listen, I had an endoscopy a couple months ago. What is that? They stub like a, a, a tube down your throat and like for like oh god it's um for oh, like I'm heartburn oh, yeah they are. knock you out dude oh I was oh like, yeah dude what the fuck yeah they knock you out they put like a mouthpiece in your mouth with like a hole in it what's it for it's for like stomach. if you have like heartburn stomach yeah. anything like that maybe the Domino's is causing the fucking heartburn. yeah I definitely I can tell you right now that red sauce oh fuck I'm not supposed to eat red sauce yeah uh, we just saved him if we had cut off the fucking podcast I get a cheese bread. <clears throat> you're unbelievable this guy just eats cheese bread I mean it's still not. They said no. Eat, they, first of all, they did. They Dude, said nothing after midnight. Go home, eat a fucking apple, and go to bed. I'm not eating a fucking <laughs> apple. <laughs> That's it. Call it a I'm night. I'm literally not eating an apple. My girlfriend would be really happy though. Yeah, it's a win-win for you, your body, your girlfriend, for the subscribers. Actually, it'd be a win if he passed away. R.I.P. Nick. R.I.P. This episode. See y'all next week. Peace. Peace. That was fucked up. <laughs>